Are you by chance from Texas? I am. Did you by chance move to LA? I did. And there ain't no space to put no real Christmas tree after the season, so I made my Christmas tree. If you want to watch this DIY, I mean, you are on the video, so continue watching. Welcome. Peace. First thing for my DIY Carry the Cross Christmas tree, I'm calling it that, yes I am, um, is I went to Michael's and got this pre-made pine cone garland on sale at that. Here I am just fluffing out all the leaves like you would do a regular Christmas tree. Hello. Um, next, I also got these garlands on sale. Um, one's a gold glittery one, and the other one is a flower sparkly one, and it's white. You know, don't nobody be calling me, and I don't do much, but when I'm doing something, people want to call me. <laughs> and Boogie want to mess with me. <laughs> Here, since this garland was like 9 feet long, I took the top fourth, or however those measurements are, and I'm just kind of folding it over into a circle um, that's going to represent the crown of thorns that they say Jesus had to wear. And then I'm just going to take, you know, the leaves and the garland and just twist it together. And you won't even be able to, to tell. Look at that. It just blends right in. Look at that. Okay. <laughs> Here I am fixing my camera for the thousandth time. YouTube life, huh? Um, and I'm just going to take this garland. Look at that. A leaf popped off. But it's okay. You can just pop it right back on. And I'm just placing it where I want it to be. And here I am just intertwining once again. Did I say intertwine before? I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, the leaves together so that way they just, you know, they look good, they blend, they stick. You don't need a whole bunch of other tools. This, this is literally all you need. Ain't that right? Yeah, yeah. Um. unraveling what I did in the store, hooking these two pieces together because it just makes sense to me, you know, make it bond better. And then I'm just going to twist the two garlands together. And once again, I'm going to intertwine, what times three, times two, I don't know, <laughs> the leaves together so that way they blend and their sticking abilities are better. That's so pretty. Oh. Now I went and got a chair. <laughs> and I'm just kind of getting a visual of, of where I want this to be. Next, since I don't know the rules about holes and walls, and I don't want to ask because I'm a weird type of introvert, um, I'm taking these plastic hook adhesive things. Quick instructions, peel the blue part off, stick it on the plastic part, squeeze those two together, um, take off the other stickers, the black and white side, and stick that sucker on the wall sideways. Not tall ways, but sideways. Otherwise you're going to have so much trouble, as I did. There I just picked my place on the wall. I have this tool that I decided to use because I felt fancy, huh? <laughs> um, and then I think I even did it wrong, but I just placed all my stickies up there and replaced them. professional whatsoever, but it did the job. 
Next, I'm taking my other garland and I'm gonna risk it for the biscuit bubble and nail this. I don't know what it is, but it's a nail and then a plastic thing on the nail that helps keep things to the wall. So I nailed it up there after about 30 minutes of trying all types of things. Eventually it went. Now I'm going to take this Christmas lighting and just wrap it all the way around my tree. You can see it's uneven. Later I did eventually fix it after I stopped being lazy. Eventually also, when I moved the table, I wiped all that stuff off and put new decor, wrapped the lighting around it, had some fun! Ooh wee! Oh, hi! <laughs> Christmas tree. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you tried to make this sucker because it was hard. And let me know how hard it was and how much of a fool I am because I can't make this Christmas tree. <laughs> uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Bye.